Um, today I actually want to talk to you about trees. We're going to be planting a baby tree today. And um, the tree that I'm actually going to plant, I got from a nursery. Um, it was Four Seasons Nursery. Now they did send me everything I ordered. However, um, none of the trees that I ordered had a good root system going. So, I actually had to keep these trees for about three weeks before I could even start to um, think about where I was going to put them on the farm. Because with no root system, putting them in the ground, they would have died. So, um, I did get the roots developed. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what some of the roots look like on this willow that we're getting ready to plant. Now, I've kept them in a just a regular container. And you can see the roots developing. There's some smaller ones. There's the larger roots. So the root system is developed quite nice now. It has taken uh, quite a while for me to get them this developed. You can see some of the older roots. Um, all the, the pink, the yellows that you see, the greens, those are all new roots. The darker ones are um, a couple of the ones that were there whenever I actually um, got the tree. So, um, And this is a weeping willow. You can see the leaves. It's going to be very beautiful in the yard. Um, and I always keep the tag on it until I can actually mark it um, after I've planted it on the farm so I know exactly where um, each tree is planted and what's planted there. So we're going to go ahead and um, get this in the ground today. And I picked a spot that is, okay, this is going to be the spot where the tree is going to be planted. And I actually had um, a couple other things here that I've moved recently. Um, not plants, it was actually a, a pile of wood, so that's why it's kind of bare. And it's going to be right beside of my small pond. So I'm hoping it does really well, and whenever it gets larger, it'll also provide some shade um, for whenever we get the, the pond area completed. We're actually making a, um, that's why you see half of the fencing, and this part over here is actually not fenced in. It's because... Um, I'm going to finish fencing that in for our ducks. So that's actually going to be a duck pond. Um, I'm going to clear all the lumber and um, all of the larger stuff that's in our way. Move it over. Um, actually, some of it will probably be burnt. But anyway, we'll get all that out of the way. And uh, we're going to expand it out toward the driveway. So there's the root system again. And um, I do want to let you know that this root system was developed by using, I just used a regular um, container like you would find at Walmart or Kmart, the big gray containers with the lids. I used one of those. Um, I left it outside, of course. I uh, kept water in it at all times and put a little bit of, it's um, an additive that you can put in your water that, um, helps the roots develop. Give me just a moment and I'll show you that. Okay, now the additive that I was talking about is Super Thrive. Um, this is great for developing your roots for your trees. Um, if you have any kind of vegetation, tree, whether it be uh, your trees, your tomatoes, all of that um, you can actually use this with and it helps the roots develop much better so it becomes um, ready to plant earlier which is great if you are a gardener or if you um, like to say you like to take your trees um, and graft them if you like to graft your trees it is excellent for that because what you can do is um, go to your fruit trees or any um, nut tree, whatever the tree that you want to graft, um, and take a portion off of it. You'll see that this tree that I got from Four Seasons was actually grafted. You can see the end. Um, you just take and place it in your water, just like that, and 
your Super Thrive, you just add to that water. So you unscrew your cap and um, just add it in. It actually has directions for you. And um, it is great for your trees. I mean, this tree, this willow came to me with uh, barely two little roots, two little small ones that were already dried up and dead by the time they got here. And, um, I mean, since I've had it, you can see all the new root systems that are developed. Now, when you are planting your trees, you want to make sure that the spot that you are planting them in is good and moist. Now, it has rained here for almost a week straight, so the all of the ground um, in my immediate area is very moist. Um, if it's not moist, you want to pre-soak that spot in the ground um, for one to two days just to make sure the soil is good and moist. Also, after your tree is planted, you want to um, soak that too. So once you get your soil back on top of the tree, you want to water it just to keep the soil moist. Now for the first couple of days, since you do have a tree that is used to having this much water, you want to make sure that you keep watering that tree. Um, now, if you're planting in the early spring when it rains a lot, or early fall, or even middle fall, whenever there's a lot of rainfall, it's not something that you have to be really particular about. But right now, we're actually planting in July. Okay? And while it is wet, it is still very humid, and uh, the ground can get really, really dry. So, we want to make sure that that tree has as much water as it can so it can bear as much and be as healthy as possible. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started with it. In order to plant your tree, there's a couple of things that um, you do need to have. Um, the tools that I'm choosing to use is my small hand tiller and uh, my matic over here. I'm going to go ahead and use those and then my tire I actually have this tire here to put around my tree to make sure that none of my kids or um, the smaller animals come up to the tree and bend it over or hurt it. So try to give as much protection as we can. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on um, getting my my hole started for the tree and I'll be back in just a moment to show you how that's going. Now there's a variety of different tools that you can actually use for this. I just prefer the Matic and my my little small tiller that I've got, my hand tiller. But you can use a lot of different tools. You can use a uh, the post hole diggers. You can use those as well as of just a regular shovel. It is completely up to you what you want to use to dig your hole. I just like to use this because for me it is a little bit easier. A little easier to work with and I can pry the dirt that I need out. You want to make sure your hole gives your roots about half of a foot beneath the ground. So you want to make sure your roots aren't sitting on top of the ground. Because if they are, um, they're not going to be able to stay moist enough to keep that root alive. After you get quite a bit dug, you can take your tree and measure. And it looks like I have about two inches under. So I'm going to get just a little bit more to make sure my roots have plenty of room.
all that loose dirt out of the bottom so we can see how deep that hole is. Maddox also good because you can pry with it so if the, the dirt or rock gets stuck you can use the other end to pry back out. Now we should have that pretty well dug and be pretty much ready to go. Okay, so we want to set our tools out of the way. Check one more time. So what I'm going to do first is take this extra water that I actually kept my tree in and I'm going to pour it in the hole so the bottom of the hole is moist. There's still some loose dirt down there and we're just making sure the hole stays moist. Then we are going to place our new tree in the hole and start slowly covering that back up. You wanna hold your tree in place so it doesn't get bent or hurt while you're covering up with that soil. Now once your tree is completely covered, you can uh, re-water the soil once more especially if the soil isn't moist and if it's not a really rainy part of the year. You want to make sure you keep that good and moist to keep that tree alive. So. Okay, and keep in mind that you want to water all the way around the tree because you don't want to mess up all the and you can see it's very moist. Um, it has rained quite a bit here, so there's a whole lot of moisture in the dirt already, so it's not really holding a whole lot. So we will let that soak up and water it again later. Set the water over here, and then you just place your tire around your tree. Hey, go! And you're ready to go. Hey, go get my brother. We go get your brother. Thanks for watching today, and um, I hope you learned a little something about uh, planting a tree. Also, if you haven't heard of Super Thriving, if you haven't used it yet, it's a really nice product to use in your garden. So keep that in mind next time you need something to help you with the roots for your plants. Um, it does help the survival rate of your plants, so that's why I use it. Um, it really helps out. If you have any questions about uh, tree planting or vegetation in your garden, let me know, and um, I'll see what I can do to find you some answers. Thanks, and you have a good day.